Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Rebu Thalamonius of Stana Petrovic. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a long time. I've followed Rebel uh, ever since the beginning, but you might not recognize me. I want to be more part of community now. My parents obviously did not have obsession with brevity, but I have been obsessed with brevity ever since a child. And I come here because uh, of the open source of Rebel, uh, the progress in Red. We've been working in secret on project uh, in Belgium, a small startup company. Uh, what we do is we, we offer it so that when you have your cellular phone with camera. Point your phone at, at the QR code and run our application. You will be getting a database. It has transactions. It does all the things like inner joins. And there's no replication yet. We are still working on that. Uh, but you just point your phone at it and you get the app. This is a payroll system. It does electronic tax filing end of year W-2s. Okay, this is a game. It's like Angry Bird. In fact, it's exactly like Angry Bird. Copyright laws in Belgium, very different. What people ask me is they say, Dr. Rebu, I, I saw Coca-Cola billboard. I download game where you drink soda. And I tell them, yes, but every time you see this, don't you have to have network connection? You are not downloading app from QR code. You are downloading URL of app. We put whole app in QR code. I will show you this revolutionary new dialect of Rebel. But first I start with something simpler than programming. We all know that Chihuahua is the best dog. But do you really ever sit back and think, why is Chihuahua the best dog? Is Chihuahua the best dog because he's from Mexico? No, there are good things for Mexico, but being from Mexico does not make something automatically great. Is Chihuahua best dog because he's the Taco Bell mascot? I don't know about you, I eat Taco Bell, I get very sick. Is he best because Paris Hilton has Chihuahua? Definitely no, definitely no. Is the best dog because is, you can put it in a bag. Smaller is better. Other presentations, I've been watching some streaming. Your slides use too much space. Look how much space I have for picture of dog. I have brought my dog here today. He's in the bag, right over there. Uh, and, and watch these. D, sp. <laughs> See? That is, that is me telling D to speak. Uh, D, a dog, SP is speak. I did not do C for Chihuahua. I could have, but I, I, I might get cat later. Why, why did I not use S? Because S is for sit. And I tell, I tell D to sit much more than I, I tell him to speak. You know, and why, why did I use a space here? You know, this. That could be something else entirely. So space is necessary there, but I'm going to show you the linguistic trick to fix this. And then you say, well, why not use Q for speak? It's briefer. Well, that's not clear. Brevity should not make things unclear. That is obfuscation. Clarity, brevity, see Dick and Jane. Look, Jane, look, look. This, this is something even child understands, adults forget. Okay, are vowels necessary? Well, science has proved that no. You can look at the study, but every now and again, you, you, you can use them. They don't want to waste them. But most of the time, you do not need them. Spaces and punctuation, these are not necessary either. Uh, you know camel case. You can do a sentence in camel case. But camel case needs punctuation. A period to show a declaration. Exclamation point superfluous. We do not need those. And the question, uh, question mark. But there's no way to put the, the period or the question mark in, into the letters. But you can, if instead of using camel case, you use transition from uppercase to lowercase to indicate word boundary. If the first run of characters are all capital letters, the ultimately the whole sentence is a declaration. And if you start your first run with lowercase letters, it will be a question. And you're saving about 40%. What I found after I finished my linguistics PhD and went for a computer science PhD, I, I, I saw a connection with Rabel. So my PhD thesis took this further to a language I call I. Uh, case transition can indicate that the first item is set word. So if you use all caps, then uh, will be a set word. If it starts with lowercase, then that series will be all just regular. And what this means is that if you just write your rebel code in lowercase, it will work just as normal. So you can put ordinary rebel in the middle of code that has been uh, done this way. I call this the mushing. I actually do not directly map letters to uh, the rebel equivalents. So for instance, I does not go to if. I goes to if mu. Now if mu acts just like if, 
on the range of inputs that the if already accepts. Rebel does not allow your branch uh, to, to not be in brackets, but if mu does. I, you can then see even further uh, that we can abbreviate it down with a, a smaller notation. Uh, symbols present a little bit of a, of a question mark. They do not have case. Uh, these are examples of some of the rules of how symbols participate in the case transitions in order to produce the corresponding rebel code. A single uh, symbols will bind to the left, and you see the, the way that this kind of works. Uh, here is an example. This is a, a Roman numeral converter. Uh, it takes in Roman numeral, and it spits out the uh, number. If you read Revel, you can read this, right? For each, you know, character in the string of the input, uh, it, it just selects uh, out of uh, this block the result of converting that character to word. Notice that Mushing has saved many characters. It was 108 characters with all those, those spaces. But when you use the Mushing, you get it down to just 69, and it is still completely legible. You, you can. <laughs> Do you laugh? You know, they laughed at Einstein. Or did they? I don't know. I mean, I ask Room, what do you think these 188 characters of code does? This is real system. Uh, let us try it. It asks us to input an integer. Let us pick one like, uh, let us say, 5. Input a percent. Let's say, what about 25%? It prints out an hourglass uh, that has, uh, the sand has fallen. So you can see that run again uh, with the other numbers. Um, something like 7 and, you know, 80. So that program, uh, you see, 188 characters, I did not even optimize. This is straightforward rebel any of you could write. You ask, how much uh, can a QR code uh, hold? Uh, it depends. The real number there, right, is the binary 8-bit, the 2,953. That's what you really have. Uh, the alphanumerics, you do not get, uh, you know, the parentheses, and they've thrown too much away for rebel. But let's talk about the license, and, and uh, a following talk by Hostel Fork, the very attractive man. We will hopefully be able to launch this, this is nice vision, at rebmo.rebel.net. And uh, I look forward to talking more with you tonight.